Today we got a question from Josh, and uh, before I get into it, a lot of you guys have sent messages on the comments and stuff like that on YouTube asking, you know, where is the best place to send questions to Chewy to get him to answer it? Um, your best bet is either joining my email list and then reply back to one of my emails that I send out daily. That's one. Um, the other one could be uh, Instagram DMs. I usually check through theirs those once or twice um, a day. And then I, I answer the comments and I look through the comments on YouTube. But again, if you want to get a question to me, that's probably the best bet with those two. Now, the question from Josh is about lifting for jiu-jitsu. So he's wondering what the best mm, sort of mode of weightlifting is for jiu-jitsu. Like, is it CrossFit style stuff? Is it powerlifting? You know, is it bodybuilding stuff? Like, what would I suggest to someone doing um, who's, who's in jiu-jitsu, he's been doing it for a couple of years, and he wants to add strength training into the mix? And so um, I'll tell you my thoughts on it, Josh, and uh, thank you for the question. Now, one sort of quick caveat to this that I'm about to get into this video, I'm going to give you my experiences with stuff, okay? And I want to be very careful with that because a lot of times lifting is one of these things where everybody's got the way, right? You know, no, 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 like we're doing it this way. No, no, you're doing it wrong. It's this, this is the way. With lifting, again... I'm going to give you like my information, use it as one little kernel of information to then formulate some game plan for yourself. And then you go formulate your own, your own opinions and experiences based off what you feel. All right. Um, because again, I see people always trying to do weird stuff. Like the other day I was on Instagram and I saw some guy who was like trash in different modalities of lifting, but then he's like, I've got this really good, this special method of lifting. And he was doing these weird exercises and it completely reminded me of like the early 2000s functional fitness craze where like people would say, don't just squat, squat on an unstable surface while you have un uneven weight so that it can really work your core. This is just do a damn squat like regular, and then you can always do some core exercises afterwards. Like I don't, I don't get it. Maybe some of you guys like that stuff. I'm not a big fan of it. To me, it's a there's a, there's a place in time that we can do different stuff. Anyway. That said, I got involved in lifting back when I was 12 years old. I loved lifting because it's funny how it happened. When I was I was jumped when I was 12 years old. Some of you guys may know the story. And I was jumped by teenagers and one person that was 18 years old, broke my nose. And that experience left me in a situation where I didn't want to go outside, didn't want to play around with kids anymore because I was afraid to just go outside of my house. And I ended up staying inside, be very reclusive, and gained a lot of weight. And so I remember my buddy's dad's... I, he knew what was going on, and I remember one day we were at his house, and he uh, he and my were all sitting around with my buddy and him, and my buddy's dad says, "Hey man, I'm gonna go lift weights. Why don't you Why don't you boys come down with me and lift weights?" So I was like, "Okay." So we go downstairs and start pumping some iron, and we were just doing some like a light chest day, nothing crazy, right? And the next day, I remember I was sitting in class and my chest was so sore I could barely move it. And I really liked it. I was like, I don't know why I like this, but I like this feeling for some strange reason, right? I'm a, I'm a psycho. I, feel, I like the feeling of this. And so he got to the point where anytime I would go to my buddy's house, you know, I'd be pestering his dad like, hey, hey, Jesse, you want to go downstairs and lift? And he he had just gotten home from a, a tough day at work. He's like, yeah, give me a minute, you know, and um, he created a monster. But I loved lifting. And so with that said, I've gotten into lifting when I was young and I've done a little bit of everything, CrossFit, powerlifting, bodybuilding, um, just a little bit of everything, right? I've, I'm not a, a serious lifter because, again, jujitsu became my main thing, but I've always lifted and I've enjoyed it. So I'll talk about some of the things that you asked about, the specifics that you asked about, and again, take these for what you will. CrossFit. I used Cross, or I did CrossFit for a little bit, not a long time, but a little bit. Even got my L1 certification at one point um, because we had an, a CrossFit affiliate at my uh, my gym. And so we were doing that for a little bit at the gym. And I remember I was like, well, if, if we've got a CrossFit affiliate, let me go, go jump over there and do it. And so I would jump and do the exercises. And uh, the workouts, their workouts of the day, their wads, those were like, those were intense. I mean, I would get, I would see the workout and I'm like, oh my God, that workout's going to suck. <sighs> I remember I'd be getting ready for it because I'm like, okay, this could be 20 minutes of, or five minutes or whatever it was of just brutal, like suck fest. And after I was done, I felt like I just got done rolling. Now, that was where the, the rub came because then I felt like I had rolled and then I would later on go try to roll and I was exhausted for rolling. And then it started to bang me up pretty bad because you're doing a lot of exercises at high intensity and stuff. And so I just was like, I think this is going to be a little too much. I feel like I'm working my body out in the same way as I do in jiu-jitsu. So I'm going to like just focus on jiu-jitsu and lift differently. Um, when I was younger, back in my 20s, early 20s, I was doing powerlifting and strongman. I grew up watching strongman on ESPN, thought it was the coolest thing ever. Um, started kind of ex dabbling in the powerlifting world. I thought that stuff was cool. Just seeing people move heavy weight was impressive to me. And so I, you know, I was doing heavy squats, benches, and deadlifts. And I remember I'd have a day during the week where I would do stones and tire flips. And we even had like a caber at one point where we could flip the log, right? It was fun. It was fun doing that stuff. As I got older though, 
I noticed my joints would hurt a little bit more from that kind of lifting where you're going really heavy. And I also noticed that like I would be zapped the next day. So if I did like a heavy like day on the weights, like the next day I'm kind of just fried. I don't have the same enthusiasm to lift. And again, this is the sort of the neurological element to lifting heavy weight. It's taxing on your system. And so again, some people, maybe if you're like a really very experienced power lifter, you may not have that same sort of thing. But for me, it took a lot out of me. And I noticed as I got older, I couldn't train jujitsu and do that power lifting at the same time. It's just too much for me. I felt like I got really crappy jujitsu training in because I was so friggin' foggy from putting in like a heavy deadlift day the day before. So I was like, I'm going to let that go. You know, and, I, I, and at some point I was like, look, I'm not going to be the strongest guy anyway. I'm not built for it. I don't have the strength for it. Uh, it you know, it's fun. Did it. Moving on. Now, the lifting that I do now, I do for a few reasons. First off, I'm in my late 30s. Keep that in mind. And I have a few reasons that why I lift. One is I like it. I've been doing it since I was 12 years old. It feels like it's just a ritual that I like to keep up. And I feel like my day is always better if I get a lift in first. These videos that I do with you, most of the time they're done when I have a lift early in the morning. I just feel sharper the rest of the day. All the internet work that I do and all the work that I do with my students, if I get, if I get a lift in the day, I'm just sharper. I'm more buzzy. I feel good. So that's number one. Number two is I want to look good with my clothes off, right? As we get older, I mean, as we, any of us, I mean, let's be honest, who doesn't want to look better with their shirt off, right? I do. So again, that's one of the reasons that I do it. And then the last reason is, is injury prevention, right? I want my body to stay together. I don't want it to fall apart when I'm training. You talk to any good physical therapist and they'll say, yeah, strength training is one of the best things you can do for your injury prevention. I know Eugene on uh, the podcast, he always talks about this. Again, he's a doctor of physical therapy. He's a black belt in jiu-jitsu, knows his stuff. He's like, look, strength training, it's a good idea. And so the thing that I like about the hypertrophy training that I do now that my coach programs for me is the weights are moderate. They're not very heavy. I'm not lifting heavy, heavy weight. So this does a couple things. One, it doesn't put the same amount of wear and tear on my joints because I'm not like loading them up super heavy. I can get that good full range of motion and good form because I'm trying to focus on good form over the weight. And I don't have that same taxing feeling the next day where I'm like, oh my God, I feel exhausted. I might be sore, but I can work through that. And usually once I'm warmed up, that kind of soreness goes away and I can lift and train more regularly with that kind of lifting in because it just doesn't zap me as much. Also, you think about this. The heavier you go, the less room of, for error you have on your lifts, right? Because of how much is loaded. So, for instance, if we're let's say we're doing um, a bench press, okay? Let's say we got seventy percent. Let's say we got sixty percent of weight. We're just warming up or whatever. And if my elbow kind of gets a little bit out of position, my shoulder flares out a little bit. With a light weight, eh, no big deal. Put it back in place, and we're good to go. You start loading up like you know your one rep max, and if you're especially if you're getting heavy and you're strong, you know that moves out a little bit out of place. You could you could rip or tear something. It's got to be very careful. And so again, it's just I got a little bit more wiggle room for error, less likely to get injured. I like it, and I can train more regularly. I like it. And so again, that's the kind of lifting that I do now is sort of more more hypertrophy style training, bodybuilding style training stuff like that. Um, my pro, my coach programs it for me. And the reason is I'm just trying to build a well-developed body from head to toe, support all the muscles, everything from getting those upper back muscles to be strong so that I don't have crappy posture, keeping the muscles around my legs nice and strong so they support my knees and my hips and everything else, um, and just working the whole body from head to toe. I enjoy doing that stuff. Um, now, I'm not going to be I'm not gonna be super jacked by any stretch, but I'm not trying to be, right? I just like training that way, and it's been helpful to me as I've gotten older, opposed to really trying to clang and bang in the weights. Now, there is one thing to consider, and I'll just share this with you. We had uh, Dr. Andy Galpin on the podcast some years ago, um, a super smart guy um, in relation to weightlifting and sports and things like that, um, has a lot of athletes that he's worked with who have achieved some you know, really good results. And we were asking him about like training. If someone's going to be lifting weights, should they be doing like some heavy, like, you know, like uh, strength training stuff that's very specific to their sport or should they just do a sort of a generalized program? And his thing was that if you are like a novice or intermediate lifter, you should probably just focus on a generalized program. Don't need to be very specific because it's better to build a base for your body. And that's what they found. Build a base for your body first. And then later on, if you want to go sports specific, that's fine. But it's better if you have a base first before you dabble in that. And so those are just some things to consider. If you're like wanting to get super sports specific to jiu-jitsu with it, do that, but make sure you got a base under you. And if you're an older guy, you know, consider that, like, again, you probably don't need to go crazy on the weights. You probably just need to find a good generalized program to support your training, support your body. And uh, so, yeah, anyway, long video, 
But I'm just sharing that with you uh, as an idea to chew on and hopefully that's useful to you. And uh, Josh and everybody else, I'll talk to you next time.